that nugget, Guys, master. so what I got is I mounted the pump um, just to the top edge of the laundry tub. And I hope these are tight enough. If not, i got to put some Teflon tape. They're, they came with rubbers in there, so hopefully that works. Now, my wiring is up here a ways. And hopefully I never get any splash splashing going on up here, which is always a possibility. So I'm going to have to maybe put this in a container of some type. But it is fused. Now, this is the tubing I grabbed, but it seems to be quite long so I may have to cut it and then I'll shorten that up but um, so what I got rigged up down here in the spaghetti mess is this is a switch I put in just for the pump because normally when I turn this on it'll power the entire bus bar so let's do that oh let there be light oh there it goes so I don't want the pump running, you know, all the time to handle that nonsense, right? So, and mind you, it is starting to, after I made that video, Mr. Wind um, is picking up today. You guys can see that. So, <laughs> prove me wrong again, eh? Okay, so before I can turn the pump power on, I gotta get set up here, guys. I wanna trim this tubing back. Now, the tubing fits nice and snug just inside the uh, half inch line, PEX line, so that's a bonus. So let's drop the, uh, the bad boy here, and now I'll grab, uh, I don't have the proper tube cutter. Unfortunately, so the reason why I want to uh, lessen this is amount of air in there. So I should have a proper tube cutter, guys. I don't, but good old side cutters are halfway decent. So all I do here is I manipulate this so it goes in nice and tight into my setup now the other thing i gotta do is basically turn the water on let's go ahead and do that water is flowing other than some air in there which is going to probably be an issue i would assume that's what I was worried about is the airlock situation. Um, so now um, I'm going to power up the aqua cube. But first, let's turn the pump on. It's going to do a dry start on me, so who knows what's going to happen. I hear the pump. Okay, I just lifted the line a little bit to get some water going. Come on, you can do it. Starting to go. Just gotta get that air purged out of that line there, guys. I think it would go in a lot smoother than that, wouldn't you? What a pain in the ass. Hmm. Very strange. What's going on with the water here? It should be wide open. 
think I am. It's just we're getting a lot of nonsense going on. Let me shut the pump off. Oh, lots of water, lots of water, but we'll get this air bubble out of here. That way we're kind of primed. Oh boy, here we go. So we'll turn the water back on. We'll turn the pump on. And is it flowing? Why is the flow rate so shitty? What's going on? God, I really hate airlock, guys. Really. Absolutely hate it. You know what's really annoying is um, having to mess with this in the morning when you're just getting up. Not a good thing. I might have to plumb that in direct just so that doesn't happen. I think the water's flowing. But the problem is, why is it shittier than... My, uh... USB pump. Unbelievable, what the shit. Maybe I got, oh, no, that doesn't have anything to do with it. Let's try starting the shower. Will it light? Probably not with that amount of pressure. Are you joking? Do I have an airlock problem over here or what? Feels like there's water mowing through there. How come the pressure is worse than what I had before? What? This is eight liters a minute. Oh, maybe I got airlock back in here. Let me do this. Okay. There was airlock. Okay, now I gotta do this. Because if I don't, you, the camera's gonna get wet. Come on. Thank you. 
Okay, I think we're getting her to there now. Let me uh, try turning the pump on and off. See if that'll do anything. I had to do that for the other thing, other pump. It seemed to work okay. I think it'd be a little easier for me than this. I absolutely hate airlock. How am I getting so much air in the goddamn line? Come on, Air, get the fuck out of there. What a fucking joke. Can they not build a pump with a air relief in it? Do you think? Or do I have to do that, apparently? Okay. Try turning it on and off. I used to do this for the uh, USB one too. Just to purge out the air out of the rotors and the pump. This is annoying, I'll tell you what. fuck am I going to get the air out of here? God damn it. Fucking air. Dare you fill this up with air, you fucker? Okay, let's try that.
God damn it. Isn't that something else? Jesus. I had to do this all the time with my old one. Squeeze the line so it makes a little vacuum slurp. Get that goddamn air through the rotor to purge it. It's about the only way. Super annoying, guys. Airlock is a the bane of my existence. <laughs> Fuck. It won't take the air through the rotor, you bastard. Let me uh, turn this on and off again. See, it tried to light. We're slowly getting there, if I can get this goddamn air out of here. But do I really want to have to do this every morning? I don't think so, folks. I really don't. So that's a good thing I knew it lit. I heard it lit, try to light. So we're getting some progress. God damn it. Something else guys, I tell you what. Try squeezing the other, the supply end. Let's see if I, it'll suck that air through. Because once that little section of air is through, guess what? This thing should be going full force. Problem is, I don't want to have to do this every morning to get the air out of the frickin' lines. I think most people would agree. I'm a zombie in the morning when I get up. What a freaking annoying bastard. Anybody got some uh, suggestions here on YouTube land um, to get this goddamn air out of here? Oh, I gotta charge my camera up. Hold on.